evening. <laughs> so I'm trying to jazz these turkey burgers up. Right, guys. Hope you had a good day. Um, I've got um, a tray with some um, coconut oil on, ready to go. I've got the oven on at 220. I'll turn that down in a minute. I'll turn that down to 200. Alexa, volume down. Um, and then we're going to go another pan here. I've got some oil on, all right? And then we'll crack on with our burgers. First thing we're going to do though, um, concurrent activity. You know I like those words. Um, we are going to get the potato wedges in first because they're going to take 20 to 30 minutes and then we can start messing around and doing the burgers, okay? So oil in your pans, whether it's olive oil, whether it's coconut oil, as you know I like using coconut oil, flaxseed oil is really good, rapeseed oil is really good. Um, so get some oil in your pan, let's get that pan in the oven, all right? So that's going, like you would do your roast, like you do your roast potatoes on a Sunday. What are we pointing at? Dishes. Oh. Right. So, next thing we're going to do then is start getting those potatoes chopped into wedges. Okay, so I've got, what, four medium-sized potatoes there. I'd say they're medium-sized. Some of the um, sweet potatoes you can get are really big, eh? So, I'm going to go half, half again, which I believe is a quarter. I'm going to take that down again. What's that? An eighth. <laughs> and then, in, whoop, and then in half again. All right, so I've got a nice wedge. All right, and they'll cook in about 20 to 30 minutes. So if we're doing them much bigger than that, they may, might not cook so quickly. All right, so let's take that, like the wife assisted with there, into an eighth. Okay, down in half. Okay, if you'll be, how's everyone's days been? Sorry if it keeps glitching, guys. We've had a few internet problems. Stay with us. Glitching, buffer face. Okay, so, same again. So that one, I'm not going to go down through the middle of that one again because it's already roughly the same size as that. A little bit bigger, but... Yeah, so if you're tuning in, let us know how your day's been. Let us know what you've been up to. Maybe you've been up to nothing. Maybe you can't go anywhere. Let us know. I've been on the flipping computer all day, which has been driving me mad. So I'm actually quite glad to be joining you guys here now this evening. You're really good at technology, aren't you? I'm really good at technology. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go and sit with Ben all day tomorrow. Sorry, Holly. I'm coming to see you all day. I'm going to do it all with you. Um, there you go. So I've got one more potato to do. So if you're just joining, guys, we're just taking our potato. So that one's a bit chunky. Let's we'll take that one down a bit smaller. All right. The end of that one is quite thin, so easy. And then I'll just do the fatter half in half. Because right, so we want them all to cook at a similar time. All right. So again, if you're just joining us, We've got a pan on in the oven. Oven set at 220 at the minute. I'm going to turn that down in a second to 200. Um, there we go. I'm almost there. So that oil will be nice and melted by the time I get to it in a second. Cut the skin on the potatoes, guys. You can peel if you want to peel. However, we don't need to. It's rustic. Right, let's have a little look here. Where's my tea towel gone? Oh, who prepared this cooking class? Right, oil. So what I'm going to do in addition to the oil that I've got on the bottom, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of coconut, no, I'm not going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. So I'm moving the oil around the pan now, guys. All right, what we'll do is get those potatoes in and just spread them out, give them a nice rub around. You hear that? That oil's nice and hot, that sizzling away. Okay, and then all I'll do in a second is just get a little bit more. Don't be frightened to get your fingers in there. Do a tiny bit, not a lot, of olive oil just to make sure the tops are coated. All right, we've not used loads. And then. I'm going to season them. Now it's important that you season your um, wedges because otherwise they'll just come out as kind of roasted sweet potato. <clears throat> We're going to put a little bit of flavour on these. Now there's lots of different flavours you could use. You could go with um, a Cajun flavour, you could go with, oh, you can use seasoning, actual, actual proper wedge seasoning mixes. You could make up your own little seasoning mix, paprika, maybe some cayenne pepper. 
um, some oregano, mix that up if you haven't got anything but you've got some dried spices, that's also a good show. Or I'm, just salt and pepper? Salt and pepper is a bit boring, isn't it? <laughs> um, let's jazz that up a little bit. Right, so what we're going to go with here is a piri piri. All right, I'm not going to use loads, um, it's not too spicy. I'm just going to make sure that goes all around. So I'm just trying to coat the skin, coat the, coat the flesh of the sweet potato. Right, so we're just moving that around. Just make sure it's all evenly distributed. Making a nice little mess, cleaner later on. Okay, let's get that one in. It's not too hot now, so I can take all that with my fingers. Right, that one's going in. It's seven minutes past. So we'll have a look at that again at about half past, which will give us time to get our next thing going. Okay, so oil in the pan on that one. Let's get that oil on, not too hot, because it's going to take us a little while. So just about two, three for me. So if you're gas, on a low gas heat, right, I'm just going to put all those bits to one side. Okay, so we're in the current situation, as you all are, turkey burgers tonight and now lamb mince burgers because there wasn't any flipping turkey <laughs> so guys if you're using beef mince same um same thing if you're using um uh, pork you could use chicken mince turkey mince the idea of this one was to go really nice and lean and go uh, really healthy however um lamb mince was that what was on option so that's what we're gonna do so what i'm gonna do is pop that open i'm gonna get myself a nice big bowl the brighter your bowl the better Tastes much better with a bright bowl. Okay, and what we're going to do then with that mince is pop that in, illusion, papery bits. Obviously, that doesn't blend very well. Okay, what we're going to do after that then, we're going to go with our sun dried tomatoes, guys. So I think I said seven. All right, if yours aren't quite as big, I'm talking about your sun dried tomatoes though, then you can go a little bit more. All right, all we're going to do. Just shake the oil off. I don't mind a little bit of this oil going in because it actually got loads of flavour in it. All right, so you don't have to kind of completely drain them, but just make sure they're not kind of dripping with oil. So that's two. So that's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I went for seven because I can't actually count much higher than that. There's my seven sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go for some tarragon. All right, tarragon, we're gonna go for one teaspoon. Let's take the lid off that one. That one wasn't prepped, was it? Okay, so one teaspoon of tarragon. All right, just do it over the top. If it wastes a little bit extra, don't worry about it. One teaspoon of tarragon going in. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I know I said half a teaspoon. Um, that's for those of you that don't like things so hot or so much flavour. I've got a nice spicy paprika here. I'm gonna go with a teaspoon of that, just a level teaspoon, don't need to go heat. All right, so that's going in there as well. So the other thing about keeping some of that oil on the sun-dried tomatoes is that will help that blend in a minute. Okay, if I didn't, um, if I didn't, if I drain those sun-dried tomatoes off completely, it'd be quite a dry mix. Okay, so that's our mix for that spraw flavour. So we can set that to one side. Half an onion for the burgers. Half a red onion. If you don't have red onion, use white. Okay, now I'm going to set the other side of half, other half aside, sorry, um, for the uh, salad later on. Let's make a little in the into that one. Oh, it's tough that one. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the onion, get it diced up, I'm going to get that heat up again and again a little bit more in a minute and get some, get some heat into that pan, get that onion. Off. So kept the root on, for those of you who have been following me, you know the little routine we do with a diced onion, we take it down, little fingers, and one more, okay, here we go then, just going to run through, get rid of that, going to run through that onion, okay, and then boom, 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 off the end, and boom, off the end, okay, so I've got half a diced Onion, simple as that. Let's get that heat up, like we just suggested. Okay, garlic clove. Okay, if you're using jarred garlic, it's not a problem. I was using that last week because I was struggling to get hold of some fresh stuff. Right, I've got managed to get hold of a bit more fresh stuff this week. 
sort of reverted. I do like using fresh if I can. However, it doesn't matter, guys. If you've got that stuff in your fridge, you can use dried, you could use the paste stuff as well. Um, a, a clove like that, I would equate to about half a teaspoon of the jarred stuff and about half a teaspoon of the paste because it's quite, quite um, full flavoured. Right, using the heel then, if you were following last night, we just use the heel of the knife to pop it over there. Just give it a little pop, right? Make sure you don't obviously whack your hand down on the shot, part of the blade. Take the end of that off and then that skin will literally just pop away. All right, we don't have to mince around trying to peel it off with your, uh, with your nose. Okay, all I'm gonna do with that one then, nice and small, nice little dice on that garlic. Don't want to be getting massive bits of garlic in my burger, so I'm just taking it nice and small. Is that anyone asking questions, huh? I've got a message, a message from Lee McCarthy. Hello, Lee. Had your scrummy butternut squash and mushroom stroganoff for tea. Yeah. All the best to you from the RMB Storehouse Education and Resettlement Office. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> and I hope you guys are all keeping well, as with the rest of you. I hope everyone's keeping safe distance and all that. Right, so let's go and get the red onion into the pan. Let's just move that oil around. Uh, we had a good leg and shoulder session this morning. Lots of good feedback on that one. I think a lot of people found that one the hardest. It tends, tends to be, when you, work, when you work the legs, it does tend to be one of the harder sessions. So family hit in the morning. Key entertainer Brody will be there. Not doing anything that I'm actually asking him to do, <laughs> or in the way that I ask him to do it. <laughs> I'm sure my dad would say I was exactly the same. God, I know I say it every night, but those onions, crikey. So I'm just gonna fry those onions down, guys. I've turned that heat up to a medium high now, so I've got what, an eight. Oh, feeling a little bit emotional with these onions. Okay. So as soon as that starts to soften a little bit, what I'll do from there is get my garlic in. Then what we're going to do is add the contents of the pan to the contents of the plastic jug. Okay, and we're going to blend. All right. Now, if you do not have a blender, guys, you could always add the tarragon, the paprika, into this pan. All right, and cook that off all together and just chop your sun-dried tomatoes really nice and small. All right, so if you don't have a blender, don't panic. I'm gonna use one like that tonight, because it's, um, you know, we're not, I'm not blending loads, so I don't, I'm not using a big um, a Robo Coop or anything like that. I'm just going for a very small hand blend, whiz it down, like you used to do with your children's food. Okay, let's go have a look at that again. It's moving around nicely. I don't wanna rush that, because I, I want it to be nice and, nice and soft before I start blending it. I want the flavour of the onion really in the burger, um, and not the um, not the big chunks. Your children are only complain. It's not that the burgers we get from McDonald's, but obviously you're trying to give them a healthy version of something that actually re resembles some form of meat. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt into that. A little bit of salt into my onion. Have it soften a little bit. Everyone's very quiet tonight. What's going on? Talk to me. Nobody's talking, they're no just watching. Talking. They're just watching, are they? Now, well, I've been sat behind the computer trying to write programs. It seems to be very complicated at the minute, given people's resources and not being able to use a gym. It should be easier. I'm just trying to make, trying to put my imagination to it, make sure that uh, it's varied enough. It's proven challenging. However, it's more the computer thing that's proven challenging, not the content. Right, garlic going in. Who? Jordan, Jordan James is watching. Jordan James, how are you doing, mate? So we've got people in Newcastle and Manchester now. Hope you keep them well, buddy. Right, guys, that's just softening away nicely. Let's just recap. We've got our sweet potato wedges in, seasoned, in the oven. 
We've got our turkey mince in the bowl just here now. Okay, we've got our onion and our garlic moving around nicely. We've got some paprika, some tarragon and some sun-dried tomatoes in there. As soon as that softens up, that's gonna go in there. We're gonna blend. That's all then gonna go into the turkey pot. We're gonna mix that in. We're gonna get in with our fingers. All right, and then we're gonna work that through. Okay, let's just pop a few things away so it's not getting confusing for anyone watching. Let's get rid of our onion. Or onion skin. Okay. All right, I'm quite happy with mine there. It's just starting to brown off on a couple of the edges, so that's all good. Let's pull this in and let's get the contents of that into my pan, into my uh, jug. Don't lose any. Yes, you, you don't worry about that little bit of oil going in there. It all adds to the flavours. Okay, so the other thing I struggled to get today was ciabatta rolls all the fresh bakeries all closed up. So I've gone this evening just for a normal ciabatta, all right? And we're gonna use in a little bit is some rings to shake my burgers, and I will cut my ciabatta accordingly to the size, so you're not left with loads of bread and very little burger. There's nothing worse than a massive back and then uh, and no meat inside of it. Okay, we'll leave, in fact, we'll push that to one side, so we're just gonna let that cool for a second. Right, so, Let's get that blended. Taking the blender and stick it in. Like I said, if you haven't got a blender, guys, just chop up nice and small. Excuse me for a second. I can really smell the paprika one coming out of that. Okay, that one. Cool. Right, now don't lose any of that. Flavour, don't lose any of that goodness. So we're going to make sure that will go into there. Apologies about the noise. Okay, don't worry about getting your fingers in there. You're going to be getting your fingers into that. Meat in a minute. Okay, let's have a quick look. Let's get that one. Okay, let's get all that flavour. So paprika, garlic, red onion, tarragon. Sun-dried tomatoes, beautiful. Now I'm just gonna literally not leave any left. Okay, now I am gonna start working that into the turkey mix. So that can go. Would you add an egg to the mixture? I'm going to add an egg to the okay. mixture. However, that's a very good point because I don't think that went on the list. Now, you don't have to add an egg, but it's very good actually for binding it, as most of you will know. Egg and breadcrumbs is the other one. Obviously, if you're already eating bread with the bat, which you don't have to, by the way, you could serve these purely with a nice salad. You don't have to have the bat if you're trying to reduce, oh, excuse me. If you're trying to reduce your um, bread consumption. All right, so you can see how now that mince has gone from quite a boring, dull looking mince to a really red, cool. Come on, have a look at that. All right, just work that in. Beautiful. Make sure it gets right into the middle of all that, all that mince. You don't want any of it left looking the colour it was when you started. If you want it all mixed and blended nicely. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then is get that pan back on the heat. I'm going to give my hands a quick wash. Good that. evening, Coochie. Good evening, Coochie. What's it been all night? Right, going to go. Um, Gonna get some more oil on and we're gonna get some more oil into that pan. And then we're gonna portion these burgers out, so we're gonna size them out. Okay, so heat back on. Right now I'm using little um, little biscuit cutters. Alright, so if you've got something similar, that's a really good way to go. Where's my big one gone? There on top of the salad. Oh there it is. Right in front of uh, you, my darling. That was my hand looking for something. Mm. Yeah. Right, so um, biscuit cutters, um, if not, you can, you can shape them with your hands. I would suggest you shape them with your hands before you start putting them into a hot pan, because you will burn your fingers. So if you haven't got these and you just want to shape them over here, then do so. Okay, I'm just, like I said, I've got that, um, got that oil in the pan. I'm just going to move some of that oil around, just to make sure it's covering the whole bottom of the pan, because I don't want anything sticking. Right, I've used the same pan for the whole thing, so the same 
stuff that I did the garlic in, same stuff that I did the onion in, don't need, don't need to be creating lots and lots of dishes. Okay, now I've done this in, um, not order of age or size, but appetite. So this is mine. This is Brody's. <laughs> this is Hannah's. This is Olivia's. Okay, so rings gone in. Okay, and all I'm gonna do now is fill those rings up. can make them as thick or thin as you like. And we're going to fill in the holes in a minute. Okay, so working that into the ring that, so there you go, my rings, <laughs> my, my ring is completely full. <laughs> Sorry. Matt Howie says the turkey ain't the only mince in that kitchen. <laughs> You're quite right, Matt. <laughs> Don't know what you're on about, darling. Right, there we go. Turkey in. Now I've got a little bit left. So I could either keep it back, or I could just make them all a little bit thicker. Which I'm gonna do, I've got, not got enough really to keep back for any reason. But don't waste, guys. Please don't waste. Not just now, but ever. One of my pet hates is food wastage. Look at the size of yours. Look at the size of mine. Hey! <laughs> Not the first time I've heard that. Right. It is. <laughs> okay. Four burgers. Lovely jubbly. Just to confirm, it is. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to mince around, pardon the pump, with those too much. But I'm going to let them cook, let them seal at the bottom. They're not, it's not that hot that they're going to burn. But if I start mincing around with them, they're going to start breaking up, falling apart. Okay, so I'm going to leave them cracking on there for a minute. Let's work now on our salad. Olivia, can we borrow you for a second? Okay, so. Half an onion, the other half an onion. Talking about no wastage. Okay, now we're not gonna go into dice on this one. This is gonna be for the salad, so I'm just gonna literally cut it in half, keeping the root on. Okay, and that's gonna give us some nice chunks. Red onion. So a little bit more carbs in this one tonight for us. My brain needs it from sitting on the computer. So we've got the sweet potato wedges, and we've got the bread, which normally uh, we don't eat so much of this time of the evening. I've got to turn that down. Okay, so that's my onion to one side. We're gonna have a quick swap of camera lady, nature calls, daughter Olivia stepping in. Okay, I'm gonna chop that end off because it's just a little bit naff. Okay, then I'm gonna go nice, thin slices of cucumber. There we go, I'm gonna go done. Oh, three, two, let's call it 12. Okay, so into stacks, okay, and then all I'm gonna do is into thirds. All right, so I'm not gonna go quarter halves or into quarters, just into thirds. So I stack them to one side. And same again there. Push them to one side. Right. Leaves, green leaves. Okay, any green leaves that you like. I've got some wild rockets uh, and baby mix there tonight. So something again that we have to use up a little bit of beetroot into it. Right. So we're going to mix that. It's looking like that steak salad we did the other night. It's looking a bit dull at the minute. So let's make that look a little bit prettier. Right. So we've got our onion. Let's go with tomatoes, I believe in the recipe I said seven. Again, so let's just cut those in half, which will make 14 on it today. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
stove. So we've got two things cooking, remember. We've got the sweet potato sticks, and we've got those really, look at the colour of those burgers, that real red colour. That's the paprika and the sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, next thing we're going to do, let's get our speed peeler out. It's the way I like to do my carrots for a salad. I find big sticks of carrots just a bit too chunky, it's not very palatable. And you're trying to eat a nice salad, so grated is another nice way. But tonight, Matthew, we're going to do ribbons using our speed peeler. Right, so rather than dropping all the thing, I'm going to go straight into there tonight. Right, so just nice ribbons of carrot. I've got rid of the outer leaves, outer leaves, outer skin. Right. Oh, excuse me. You just flick one in your burger. In my what? In your burger. Oh yeah. Someone's <laughs> <I've> got extras. <laughs> Again, don't waste that little bit when you're getting down towards your fingers. Don't waste that little bit. Chop it into sticks. Give it to the kids as an appetizer. Lovely. Okay. Let's go tomatoes. So we've got carrot, tomatoes, lovely. Let's go with the onion from a bit of a height to make sure that's all broken up. So it's not all just sat in massive bits of onion. Let's give that a little bit of a toss. Okay, and then we're going to go cucumber. Move that into there. Let's do two stacks of that cucumber. Let's do it for the third. Again, let's move that around again. Just a bit more. Okay, now, so. That and that is done. Avocado last. We leave it to last. It browns up really quickly. So we're just going to go with okay. Avocado. Cut an avocado. Some of you might go simple, Jim. I know some people do struggle. So let's just move that to one side. Knife in. Okay, you will find the stone. All right. Yeah, I can't go any further because the stone is there. I'm just going to run the knife right the way round. The avocado, hopefully coming back into the same point. Oh, we did. Okay, now what I'm going to do is twist. Okay, and there we go, we've got our avocado. Okay, just use a teaspoon. I like to pop that stone out from the middle. There we go. You can grate that, guys, you can grate that over the top of your salad. I'm not going to, but you could grate that over the top of your salad, get a nice bit of fibre on that into that. Okay, then all I'm going to do is take my teaspoon around the inside or outside, should I say, of the avocado, trying not to lose any of its kind of green meatiness, is what we're trying to get. Obviously, we want to be just left with a bit of good. We'll be left with the skin only, so we've not lost a lot of the actual avocado there. Right, and then all I'm going to do with that. Chop it into nice big chunks tonight. Okay, shall we come back over? Beautiful. Okay, so some nice big chunks. Sweet potato check. Sweet potato check. How fast is it? Yeah. Very good. Alright, let me just get the rest of that avocado out. And then you can always preserve your avocado with a bit of lemon juice, lime juice. Okay, nice big chunks again. Lovely, lovely. So some good, healthy fats and flavour going into that one. Okay, so I'm going to do two things. I'm going to check my potatoes, I'm going to give them a shake around and I'm also going to turn these burgers because they've been sat that side for a while. There we go, look, look at that, that yeah. nice bit of colour in. Like I said, we didn't do the egg there tonight. I feel that these will hold together enough. It's really the egg is for, for binding. Um, this is where one falls apart now, isn't it? Well, I just said that. However, these are binding quite nicely. So I don't feel like I need to add anything additional. To that. The other thing you could use for binding is breadcrumbs. Again, I've taken, I've taken uh, just a little bit of fat out and carbohydrates out, but I'm not using breadcrumbs or using an egg. However, you are getting additional protein if you do use the egg. Have a quick look at our potato bones. Okay, let's just move those around. 
Woo! Get your fingers. Lovely, they're looking good. Okay, so I reckon we're another five minutes out. So two ticks. Have a quick look around, do a little recap. And then we're gonna get going with those burners and stuff. So we're looking at five minutes guys, so that's another another um, meal that we've cracked out there in what, 35 minutes? Um, probably less than that, you could crack this out less than that, obviously if I'm not waffling so much. Okay, salad is done. Yeah. Let's chop up the bread into those sizes. Now I'm not going to put the actual ring on the bread. I'm not going to put them anywhere because I'll put them in the sink. <laughs> okay, I'm going to judge from the size of the burger, right, what size roll I'm going to cut. Then we're just going to pop all this into, there we go, so I'm going to go with that size for my one, into the oven for that five minutes just to make that just about a nice, I'm going to go for that size one, and that one, and then we'll just take that almost in half. I'll lose the end of it because one of the kids will complain, oh, but I got the end for. Okay, cool. So there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We're just going to pop that five minutes into the oven. It'll crisp off that little bit, not too much. Okay, last thing I'm going to do then is just make up a little dressing. So, we're going to go with... We're going to get a little jug out. Okay, I'm going to go with a lime and mustard dressing tonight. So, for those of you that are following the other day, our acid was um, red wine vinegar. Today, we're going to use lime. So the first thing we're going to do is roll that lime out. Make sure it's nice, nice and loose before we start squeezing the juices out of it. I'm going to measure roughly what I get out of that lime so then I can use three parts of oil. Okay, so whatever I get out of it lime-wise, I'll use three parts of the oil. Bread knife, not necessarily what you'd normally use. Let's have a little look here. Okay, so just over half a tablespoon and one half. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's about half there. So I'm going to go over back. Three tablespoons, guys, all right? So I've got about just over a tablespoon. That's one, two, three. Cool. So remember what we were saying, when you're making dressings, you want to make sure they're full of flavour. They want to be quite strong because they're bringing the flavours out of what could be, or you've got it deemed as quite a um, boring salad. All right, guys, I'm just going to get a teaspoon. One heap teaspoon of um, whole grain mustard. Um, which cousin asked me the other night, do I have to use mustard? I don't really like it. No, of course you don't. Um, there's lots of different ideas. Coriander would be a nice one to go in there. All right, that's the end of my Bobman Beast Chili mustard, which I'm now going to work into the dish. This is a jug. Woo! Give it a nice little. Mix up with a spoon, with a fork, whisk if you've got one. Okay, and that will be going on right at the end. Right, let's have a plate. 
Round or square? Oh, whatever comes to your hand first. You know you can give me options. Brody! Come lay the table, please. Right, I'll serve Brody's up first. Put these going to be down. I'm just going to get that spatula to wipe off. Okay. Right, guys, so I'm going to go with. Brody doesn't like to the potato wedges. And they're nice little potato wedges. Burgers, mate, your favourite. Well, that's my favourite. You can eat it and then eat them burgers. Mm. They're natural. Mm. Hi, what Birdie. Would you like? What would you like on top of your burger? Cheese, please. Cheese, please. Or like on top. Do you, do you mean like inside? Or yes, I mean inside. Yeah. And ketchup. And ketchup. Please. Dad, did you clean our den outside? I have. Yeah. Looks like some refugees are moving in. <laughs> uh, no cheese, Brody. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do some other ketchup for you this evening. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so a small handful of salad. A little bit of the avocado. Get a few bits. And then uh, so that's just a child's portion, a little bit of tomato sauce, <laughs> top on top. So we've got sweet potato wedges, avocado salad, and turkey stroke lamb burgers. There you go, guys, a little bit of ciabatta roll there. Hopefully you come and join us tomorrow morning um, for uh, Family Hit, Tapas Night tomorrow morning. And then we tomorrow evening, it's completely eluded me what we have on the menu tomorrow evening, but I will post it up. <laughs> have a good evening, guys. Cheers.